Big Apple, 3 a.m. Two thousand eighteen was a great year for RPGs. Some would say that there's been a recent renaissance of amazing titles. Others will say that the RPG never left. Here are our top five best RPGs for twenty eighteen. Number five, Nino Kuni Two: Revenant Kingdom. Nino Kuni Two: Revenant Kingdom is one of the most beautiful games that I've ever had the pleasure of playing. The colorful Studio Ghibli-inspired art style looks breathtaking and is an absolute treat for the eyes. You take the role of Evan, the heir to the crown of Ding Dong Dell, who was exiled during a coup d'état in his kingdom. Evan sets out to build a brand new kingdom to bring peace to the world. The story has its share of charming moments, but it lacks any real significant depth or character development, leaving much to be desired. The Pokémon-esque familiar system from Wrath of the White Witch has been replaced with a real-time action combat system, a la the Tail series. While the change is a big departure from the original game, the real-time combat is enjoyable and lots of fun. Revenant Kingdom also introduces a new kingdom-building system, reminiscent of the Suikoden and the Dark Cloud series, where you can construct facilities and conduct research, which I found to be addictive. I couldn't help but feel like some of the magic from the first game was lost. But the top-notch presentation and the various systems that play underneath the hood still make for a truly memorable experience. Number four, Octopath Traveler. Octopath Traveler is a Japanese role-playing game tailor-made for purists who earned their stripes with the 16-bit classics of yesteryear. Visually, the presentation is striking, blending the beautiful 2D pixel sprites with modern high-definition environmental effects. You control the fate of eight different protagonists, each with their own story. The stories range from captivating to serviceable, with very little interaction or overlap occurring between the party, aside from banter here and there, chiefly due to the non-linear design of the game. The chapter structure can also feel a tad formulaic and repetitive at times. The combat is where Octopath Traveler really shines the brightest with its break and boost mechanics. Attacking enemies with the right weapon or magic element will deplete their shield gauge. When the shield gauge reaches zero, the enemy's guard will break. When broken, the enemy will be vulnerable, and you can unleash a flurry of attacks. The boost system lets your character stack battle points and either land extra physical attacks or make their spells and special moves more potent. With these mechanics in tow, you can't simply plow your way through battles with brute strength, and will really have to strategize all of your assaults. Boasting an unparalleled visual flair, a masterful soundtrack, and a rich and engaging battle system. Octopath Traveler is the RPG that we never knew we needed. Number three, Xenoblade Chronicles 2: Torna: The Golden Country. Torna: The Golden Country is a standalone expansion for Xenoblade Chronicles 2. The game takes place in the world of Allrest during the Aegis War, 500 years before the events of Xenoblade Chronicles 2 proper. Civilization thrives on the backs of titans. Giant living landmasses that swim across the cloud sea. Drivers resonate with core crystals and awaken the mighty blades that live within them and lend their strength in battle. I really enjoyed the new protagonist Laura and the bond that she shares with her blade Jin. Mithra and Jin both have some truly noteworthy character arcs. The character development happening between the two narratives is something that very few games have been able to replicate. The story is fantastic and does a phenomenal job of fleshing out its wonderful characters and expanding the entire scope of the series. You can even revisit some of the areas from Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and really see how much the time has changed throughout the course of 500 years. Monolith Soft made subtle improvements to the gameplay, like doing away with the awful gacha system from the base game, but they still made some questionable design choices, like locking story progression until you fulfill a certain number of side quests. The combat system from Xenoblade Chronicles 2 has been refined, allowing you to control both driver and blade this time around, making battles much faster and exciting. While still keeping the intricacies of the combo systems and chain attacks intact, with its great story, deep combat mechanics, and a killer soundtrack to boot, Torn of the Golden Country is a remarkable expansion and one of 2018's best RPGs in its own right. Number two, Monster Hunter World. Monster Hunter World delivers an action RPG like no other. The Fifth Fleet sets out to the New World for the sake of research and encounter a migrating elder dragon that leaves nothing but destruction in its wake. You rely on your hunting skills to survive after being shipwrecked, and regroup with your fleet to continue your journey. 
The Monster Hunter series is notorious for not holding the player's hand and it can be daunting for newcomers with a steep learning curve. World brings an experience that can engage both newcomers and veteran players alike. Capcom provided a substantial graphical and gameplay overhaul, full of quality of life enhancements that feel like a breath of fresh air. With 14 different weapons to choose from, there is a ton of variety in playstyles. Finding out new ways to hunt and employing new strategies to decimate my targets is always refreshing and so much fun. I can pick this game up any given day and find myself sinking an entire afternoon just grinding away crafting new weapons and armor sets or enjoying some online co-op. With the constant stream of new downloadable content that Capcom keeps throwing in for free and the active online community, this RPG is indeed a must-have in any gamer's library. Number 1. Dragon Quest XI – Echoes of an Elusive Age The Dragon Quest series has struggled for so many years to gain traction in the Western market. Square Enix delivered a bona fide classic this year with Dragon Quest XI – Echoes of an Elusive Age. You take the role of Android 17, I mean the Luminary, on his quest to save the world of Erdria from the Lord of Shadows. The narrative is humorous and bursting with loads of charm. It always keeps a good pace, is easy to follow, and never loses its focus. The story also does a fantastic job of developing its colorful characters, and I found myself caring for these party members by the time that the credits roll. Akira Toriyama's art style looks stunning. The character models, monster designs, and animations are all superb. Erdria is vast, vibrant, and full of detail. The tried and true traditional mechanics hold up. Dragon Quest XI does not attempt to recreate the wheel. Instead, it plays to its strengths and doubles down on what it does well. It's an unforgettable experience with everything that an RPG fan could possibly ask for. Do you agree with our list? Or did we miss any games on our top 5? Let us know in the comments section below. From all of us here at Rotten Apple Gaming, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a big thumbs up. Click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on the next video.